and it's the same campaign, you know, and I don't know, I think Nigerians, Nigerians as a people, you know, the, the biggest, supposed biggest, you know, black race in the world, we need a circumcision of the mind. Like we need to reorientate our mindset towards how we relate with our so-called politicians. I don't call them leaders. Sometimes we say leaders. They, they, they are not leaders. I mean, what, what is it? What is a leader? What is a leader? Like this, the 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 gov- like, immediate late governor of Ondo State, he just passed away. Okay. Yes. The thing is, it's it's in the Bible. Like it, whatever you sow, whatever a man soweth, that he shall reap. Right. You know, you may yeah. come out and portray yourself as good, or you may have done some good, mm-hmm. but listen, if at the end of the day, what you are after is yourself and your family and you call yourself a leader you're not a leader I'm not you are not you're not a, le- a leader will lay down his life for his people just like a good shepherd you know but these people would rather have their own people be killed and do nothing about it that's right. you know just because they want to protect themselves and their family <laughs> my good i just that's i just wanted to add my contribution you to this and well. just to agree with that yes, um se- se- Seku who called the other day, who 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 really hit the nail is is a reorientation of the mind because everything is just you know over the years you turn the people inside out. It's gonna take a lot to re-educate them, like make the people have to unlearn and relearn. Right. You know, I think that that is something that is a part of the revolution that we need. You know, yes. if anything. Thank you so much uh, for re echoing that yourself. Okay. I appreciate yeah. this as well. Thank you for that contribution, sir. You have a good one. That's all right. My good. Thank you. You too. Sir. Yeah. So um it's brilliant. Every yeah. time we have been talking about the revolution of the mind, revolution of the mind. I mean, we should kind of believe that it's already taking place. We must kind of, you know, uh, 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 profess it more. You know, everything starts from here. All right. And people that have been turned inside out from generation through generation through colonialism, slavery, the identity stolen and all that stuff. Of course, right? Revolution of the mind. My caller. Hello there. Hello, my good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Okay. Yeah, fine. The previous caller just took, I'm going to be very short. Uh, the previous caller just um, uh, took one of the words I wanted to say that whatever you reap, you so I mean, we're talking about building uh, new hospitals. How, the existing hospitals we have, what are we doing with it? What have we done with it? Yeah, but rather, big companies are leaving Nigeria. Uh, 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 Castle Smith client that left Nigeria and all that was, I was meant, I was uh, learning yesterday that apparently the federal government wanted to forcibly take over that uh, company and they, and they left Nigeria. So that's what you get. See, it will, it will continue. But why everybody should not forget that Kolo is very sick. You know, we, we shouldn't be deceived. We won't hear that from me. The, the guy might even drop dead any time. And then we have to deal with Sh- Shetima, which is even a bigger evil, you know? So, yeah, I, I just don't know. I just don't know how this whole thing is going to get sorted out. So it's it's sad, though, until, until, until we're tired and we can sit up and all that, we look beyond uh, tribe, we look beyond the religion, and then we say, okay, this is uh, the only country we've got. We've got to start doing it, you know? When you're voted in office, you go there, to serve, you know, you're not counting that here. Yeah, I built a road, I built a, uh, a a flyover, and all that, you know. So that's just the thing. And recently, um, there's a message, there's a private message that you meant to have. Did you see it? Oh, I have, you know, I do have a lot of private messages like that, but you know. no, no, from, from, no, from this number, very important. It's from Doctor in, in New York. You know who I'm talking about? Uh, He's been trying to read. Oh, really? He is, yeah, he's, so just ask me and all that, and I would, I would, uh, I'll do it to you. I don't want to keep all the information here. Yeah, so I get, I get that. You know how we do it, right? Since you have made me aware, that means I'm going to go look at that uh, message after the call. Yeah, yeah. Today, yeah it's coming from the IP capital. Yeah. Letter, okay, like just say, Mayego, let it be the last message you send, all right? Just say, Mayego, read this. Now, when I'm scrolling through oh. that hold of messages, I'll see yours at there, and I can easily just take it on from there. Would you do that, please? Okay. 
Okay, that's cool. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Right now. I appreciate that. Okay. I mean, I mean, it's okay. Nice so, um, I okay, that's cool. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I believe. Um, yeah. Hello there. My year, Baba. Uh, is that talks? Uh, it's the one and only now. <laughs> How are you today, sir? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. And you? Uh, I'm here. Very well. Thanks for asking. So, thank God for your help. Thank you. Sir. Thank God for your family. Compliments of the season. Okay. So, I've been watching in the background and um, seeing a lot of things that's happening. Uh, firstly, I just want to say thank you for um, what you do. Um, and I've always said this. Nigeria's battle is more of a religious war than anything else. The brother from Liberia said it all that day, and in fact, I had to go and rewatch it today again and say, let me pick it for detail to detail of what this man said. He said it all. It's a religious battle. If you, you look, he's got, he gave two phases to the north and one phase to the south. No matter what we do, if you don't sensitize the north, we're still in trouble. Because they've pumped so much money into the north than the south, where all the resources is coming from. Where I'm from, they've tapped so much of our limestone that in fact they've 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 dug the earth deeper than you can dig the earth. But guess what? The southern part of Nigeria still has money. And my go, I want to thank you so much for that program you did about the eastern part of Nigeria. Was it yesterday? Uh, it was yesterday. About how yeah, and the then, uh, I have, I have, I have friends that actually went to the east for Christmas because of what happened in February during the election. That you know what? Let's show you guys what we really are. Like, uh, talks come down to east. We will show you what in life be. When I think soon, I get something. We get past now. But because of who they are and how accommodating Yorubas are, we took it for granted. Look at who are the people running the Yoruba land now. Muslim, I saw them were doing Osho the day yesterday. And I'm thinking, really? After all what's happening in, in, in Yoruba land, you guys can still pump money to that kind of event. It's unfortunate. We're here and this is now. Like you said, 2024, I know how much I sent to Nigeria this Christmas period. I don't regret it, but I did it because it's from the goodness of my own personal heart. I said, you know, just do it. It's not for spite or anything. But 2024, my ego, oh, my Oh, my lagbara. My own concern uh, talks, right? We can tell that this uh, Fulani armed uh, Fulani uh, terrorist who have now actually huh? made more money from kidnapping, amassing weapons than they were in 2015, let's be honest, okay? They have amassed more. So if this is them staging a comeback, like we all we have witnessed in uh, Plateau and it's going to go on there like in the middle belt, like it was when it all started in 2015, talks, right? So if we are actually yeah. facing that barrage of uh, this onslaught again, and here we are, Tifnumbu that uh, people said, uh, as Yoruba, it will probably not look away and watch people killed, right? So, yeah, would be the Akere Dolu of the Yoruba people. Something that I mean, someone that is probably going to be like a out there or even build on what they have done so far. With my go, you know, my you know, my analysis is this the blowback is going to be this. You see, that 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 thing you showed yesterday about the Igbos going back, the internet exploded today. If you had gone on Facebook today, the internet exploded. Yorubas were attacking the Igbos, Igbos attacking Yoruba. I said, okay, now the blowback is going to come. Now, let us see those full and his dear try to come for those Igbo billionaires or those Igbo millionaires building those beautiful houses and the streets and everything. Let them try it now. These guys are going back home. And I told someone, I said, look, I think I mentioned on your show, I said, when the Igbos decide to leave Lagos, Lagos will go wallow because why? The Igbos are majorly maintaining yeah, the economy of Lagos because they're the greatest importers and exporters in Lagos. We are ripping them off of their taxes. We they, they pay the highest tax margin in the whole of Nigeria. They pay the highest taxes on land and everything, even everything they import is an Igbo man's container. 
taxing the highest, but these guys are still making money. But I'm saying it now, let them go to the East now and try it. Those unknown government, that are unknown government, they will come out and tell the world that they, 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 they are really the evil spirit that will deal with these people. Talks. My going to on land on here. I know. What we showed yesterday, I'm telling you, let them go and try it. Look at the flood of people that came there. You think they will not protect those people? And what you said yesterday was, ah, give uh, them loans without interest. Yes, no. And watch your people grow. Mm -hmm. Watch your people grow. Create the economy you want. You have the money. You have everything. Just pull it down and see what happens. Straight up. And you have to give it to them, by the way, right? Uh, that's why I said they need, to, ah, they need okay. to invest more in their PR as well, okay? Because in the eastern part of Nigeria, that in case others I, don't know, that's where you have in Ozo Motors uh, right there building their stuff, right? Thank uh, you very and much. You have so many of and their, their actual businesses that are manufacturing so much. To see how so wicked is, to see how wicked these people are, to see how those wicked people are, uh, in Ozo Motors uh, creates a similar vehicle to what they are buying for 160 million, which they can get for half the price to put in their state house. As you know, we are support. We go to China. China does not buy American vehicles now. No. They make their own vehicles. They make replicas of Bentley at the highest spec. That's right. Now, the Yubus are saying, you know what? Now, now, let us show you what we can do. T. Yoruba Bashora, Awalama Diyanyeju. Awalama Diyanyeju. That is why that uh, those who should know something that uh, uh, Yorubas, we are, we are so blessed, no doubt, okay? But there's something people need to uh, sort of understand. <laughs> It is high time for you, for me, as Yorubas, to stop bragging about Lagos when we cannot brag of a similar space in any other part of Yoruba land. People actually who tried in the times of Awolowo and Co, right? They created cities and they ran them. They created um, cities to us. Uh, you know what I mean? But today, okay, go on. Have, yeah. My ego, I'm one of the people that never brag about Lagos because I lived in VI and I saw what VI was before I left. What it is now. Let me tell you something. Lagos is a massive slum. I, I told them I can never live in Lagos again. Never. You know what happened? I can go there, stay in your hotels, do my Faji there, and come back again to my hometown. But I can't live, I can't live in Lagos anymore. You but I'm telling you, with the people that you have there, Jabus are very rich too. I know Ijebus um, and there were palaces God. and the rest of them. But this is not My a God. battle of a palaces or battle of mansions. We no. are talking about uh, the, the wide, yeah, the widespread poverty and the missed opportunity that is actually to cap it up the face these days, aren't we? My God, to, to cap it up, to cap it up. Look at the look at the 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 the, 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 the similarities. When that Igbo man opened his gate for people to come into his compound to sit down and celebrate with him and look at Tinumbu's place in body long. Mama hmm. she less in body loan about my niece Leko. Look at the people there, sit on the side, Miss Grant, you were about to the Almagiri. Uh, like she left okay. the my money, what they want me. Where people beg, I know. No, my good, my good, my good, tell me, tell, you know, okay, let, let me tell you a quick story. You know, when the Oba of Lagos they stole his mask and his shoes and everything in joint answers, Oba Yekon before they never had a fence in his palace. Hmm. He never had a fence. Oba, of Oba, Oba, give me Oba. A, a king never has a fence around his palace because that's where everybody comes to eat and sleep. He, he only or upper low balloon bubble. He's the one that takes care of the widows and the widowers. This guy created fence. When they went to Doka to bust the, the palace of Doka and Ojota, okay, lie, 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 lie. you know why? That upper takes care of the community of Jota. They, hmm. they couldn't get him. Go on, my go please check it and fact check it. I don't remember. I do. But when, was, when, 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 that, when that man said, okay, oh, she gets everybody coming, said, oh, they, they heal the man. Now uh, tell me, they if some gate, did, now see, it talks. The full story is this, right? The guy went to the, uh, what do you call it, to the palace of uh, one of the chiefs, okay? And he said, mm -hmm. listen, I have brought an offer that I want to share with the community. Could you please Thank you. invite the community? Baba, you could see all of them now. Okay. They had to, they said they carried town crier to say everybody come around. Oh, uh, Big Jordan is my asking own. that everybody should come. Oh, and you could see it all over their face. Okay, my go. Hmm. Okay, my, my go. Can you, I'm sorry, if I go, can you tell something? If some stupid idiot wants to go and carry AK for some and go and bust that man's house, do you think the, the community will not start you must kill me before you? Thank you very much, my go. Now, when they're going to, when they're going to the Nimbus place in Body Long, Everybody go on now. See, oh boy, this, this man, we sit down with that for 12 hours. We don't even get 15 hours from you. Oh, my God. 
the day has been cast. Okay. This is the end of the story. And thank you very 2024 much. is the Shady Baza. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. Sir, yes. Good night. Yeah, and you too. You have a good one, okay? Uh, it is true. Uh, and then uh, there are so many things that uh, we should tell ourselves that we are kind of uh, losing it. We are watching our people go begging in the, in the most uh, condescending way. And it is not new, but for those who are Yorubas, who have been watching it go from bad to worse, that shouldn't be the pride. It's called the Alimajiri system. Yorubas are oh my God. Uh, They are telling us that it's not, there's nothing wrong in having, uh, uh, becoming an Alimajiri in Yoruba. Just be grateful. That's something you should reject. Here, hello there. Things are actually yeah, my one. Yes, sir. Hello, my brother. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm all right. First time caller, man. How are you? Yeah. Well, such a pleasure, sir. Because everybody can hear you now, please. No, it is not working because I'm right on the screen and somebody else is talking to you on the phone. What's See, if you really want to enjoy this, you and I are talking. Don't stop looking at that screen, okay? That screen is now for others who are listening to us. It's a bit delayed. And then uh, if you stay on there, right, it's going to interfere in what we are doing. Can you please ignore that screen now, please? The Maya is in trouble, man. Okay. I don't think this man is ready. So what happened oh, is this, right? Okay. If you are calling me, good evening, my brother. Good evening, ma'am. Please one second, ma'am. Please. Uh, See, one second, uh, don't uh, listen uh, to uh, me, ma'am. Uh, listen, listen, ma'am. Please one second. Uh, I'm going uh, for one second, uh, please. Yes, ma'am. Now, uh, if you are calling in, okay. Usually, right? Uh, I will advise you to ignore the broadcast that moment. There are people that will call in. And they would now turn on their TV because they want to hear their voice on the phone, on the TV. Please don't do that. Okay? It is called their production. There is a bit of a delay between uh, what we say inside this studio and then at the time you get to hear them on your devices. So you cannot call me and begin to listen to your, your own voice on the TV or your voice on other devices. I would rather you speak to me directly. Then you can go listen to your voice when you hang up, okay? It is so awkward when people do that. And I kind of wish you won't do that. Yeah, I'm so sorry, ma'am, right? Can you hear me? No, that's all right. That's all right. That's oh, all right. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Good, 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 good. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. So. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I said to you. Happy New Year and fair in advance. I tried that in uh, Love of God is my strength. I want to be joyous. I tried that uh, I tried that thing you gave me for the paper yeah, the link. I couldn't get into it. I don't know. Please help me. Even now I'm trying to, I really want to do something. I'm trying to uh, press on the shot button. I can't. Yesterday I didn't want to cover. I just want to bless you. But I couldn't. I need some. I need help. Please help me. From my heart, I want to do it. Now, Thank you. I want to. I want to move it, move it here, but let me speak it in English. Yes, At times, I don't know what you talk about. You back to let me know. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay. Some words, my ex, Thank you. Some words. If you don't say them in Yoruba, you won't feel good the way you oh. want to. So yeah, but just yes, let me mix them. Yes. Go on, man. Okay. Thank you. First of all, yes, I want to thank you a lot. The knowledge that God gave you. Eh? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, man. You see, God called you for this time. Eh? You see this town, there are people on this YouTube that I see. We God called them for this time of our problem in Nigeria. Nigeria is a place I cannot understand. It's as if it's out of this world. That Nigeria is living in other world. Nigeria is not like other country of the world. That is the way I'm looking at it. Are we living on a separate planet? Or are we in a, this planet, this earth that is rolling all over the place? Are we inside it? Now, let me go to Akere Dolu. Yes, ma'am. Akere Dolu, what happened to her? He died. Error, error, error. I'm taking some call. Let me say something, my brother. 
what is the benefit of wealth? Hmm. What is the benefit of wealth? What is the benefit of wealth that you cannot think about the children who have not benefited what you benefited in your own time hmm. when you went to school? What is the benefit of wealth that you put in the bank, that you keep in your house, that you give your wife to do business, that you use to send your children all over the world? And our children who are not born in the 70s, who are not born in the 60s, who have not experienced free school meal, who have not experienced Free uniform, who have no experience free school fees. Hmm. My ego, I experience it too. I experience it too. Hmm. So you no knew what way. it was like, and now you are alive hmm. and you are also seeing what it is now like. It is, such yes. a, you know, it breaks out, man. Hmm. Yes, you know what? At times, eh, when I will look at our, our youths now, when I want to do something or say something about them, I will hold my mouth. You know why? These children, they have no experience for education. These children, they have no experience for free school meal. Never, never, never enjoy good no governance. Food. Never, ever. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. But when we are going to school, we have our abo aboa. Mm. 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 We carry our plate in our hands lunch, lunch, and lunch want to box. get to school. Mm. Yeah, so. There is empty, or oh. it's empty, no food inside, though. Yeah, when we get to school, mm. some days they will do a sarro, some days they will do a wa. Mm. And we have these three women who come to the school who will line up eh? and we'll be collecting our food. I was in boarding house. My dad did not pay money for putting house. We are eating free food. We we'll food. We we'll eat in the morning, egg and bread. We we'll eat in the afternoon. Everything was free for us. Mm. Now, we look at our young girls. We say they are doing Yahoo. Mm. We say they are doing Ron's girls. My brother, yes, it is not good in itself. Yes. What do you want them to do? The government is not helping them. The government is not even providing the same environment for them to do what they need to do. The work who are stealing the money. The, well, the, the police can the uh, uh, EFCC will not go after them. The one that carry laptop that is using it to study, they will go and collect laptop from them and lock them up. After they do they not law. Cannot in law. I just in some coffee. Let me say it in English. Yes, he died a useless death. I'm sorry. Anybody can say I'm saying my own mind. Please let everybody say what they want to say. Mm -hmm. He died useless because I want to tell because you what he, 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 he actually made different to different people, and there are people yes. who actually that his actions impacted in their lives, and they will never forgive him. I know some of them. Yes. Go on, man. Yes. Let me tell you one thing. Mm. If you are a human being in, in God, God created you into this world and you did not make an impact, God gave you the chance to go into to go to Ondo State and be a governor. Yes. He gave you the idea for you to be a lawyer and do all this. And you went there and you maltreated them, you stole their resources, you did not make a difference to their life. People died in hospital, children died in hospital, pregnant women died in hospital. You had you have deaths raining all over you. No matter what you do, what he has done. Look at all the money that I couldn't do stole. Can I ask you? He was flown to Germany. Mm -hmm. Cheko Ku, he did not die. Is he die? Is he it die? Is Bunny die. Club of Bunny oh, Why not die. make hmm. why not make a difference in people's life? Why not you make a difference and say, okay, ah, this is who I am. People are dancing over your death. Oh, God. I cannot tell you, if you, are, you cannot see what is happening behind your back, you very soon you are going, you are in the mortuary now. Call is catching you dead. God knows the kind of mortuary that they put you in. Maybe it's not the mortuary of Yemitu, Yeremitu Lumbu that is controlling in Lagos. Maybe it's going to be a mortuary that somebody will come there and steal some of your parts. Mm. 
because all of you failed us. All of you spared Nigerians. All of you killed us before we even say what to close our eyes to sleep. All of you have mother sleep in our eyes. After the Dolu, and the one that cannot remember, I said that died that the former speaker of the house. All of you, you have destroyed. Yes, they have destroyed us. They destroyed Nigeria. Nigeria on the, on the road. Nigerians are not safe if they travel. The road is if the road of not swallow them. Kidnapper will take them to the bush. So tell me, what is the benefit of Akene Dolu death? He did a kid uh I'm a tech and so I'm a tech that they did that later they were the one keep stealing from people. I know a lot of people that you are I'm a tech go and steal in their house. Mm. So what he did that he did, he came out, he brought a Ameteku. Did he allow them to carry something that would protect them? Did he allow it? He brought it out just to play while you And later, they say he did a Ameteku. Where did he do it? This man was running all over the place with Tulungu during the election time. And he was sick. Because of his greediness, because he wants to come back to power, he did not go and look at himself. Selfishness, greediness, he hold on to power, even to death, until he could not speak again. Hmm. Yes, until he could not speak again, until he could not hold a spoon again. That is why it's okay. I just have been left to the VT. So now, what I'm saying now is that what is all what he has suffered for? All where he went to, all the nations, preaching for Tulumbu to be president. He followed bad day. Very soon they will cover him with sun sign. Very soon they will cover him with the ground. The red, red sun in Nigeria, he is gone. Where's all his money? Hmm. It is not careful. Let's a joy win, ma. I mean, you have indeed, eh? You exploded tonight. I have never heard you speak like this, like uh, in a while. So this seems possible, yes. is it? Yes. No, what I'm saying, my brother, yes. It is good. Let me tell you one thing there. Eh? It is good to fool for the dead. I understand. Yes. But when a dead man that you are you are dead and you have destroyed people's life, mm. people have died because of your policy. Let us not be let me tell you this God that you see. God is not stupid. God has given us everything for us to live our life, and He has given people the, 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 the authority, He has given them all of us power. You can't come and take what belongs to other people and you put it in your pocket and you say, I should feel sorry. And the people that died on Christmas Day in Batu State, they belong to people. So I tell you, death does not mean anything to me. I don't feel anything. I am sorry to say. He said, I'll feel for those who are who died in the Batu State. Those who went to church to do a service to Christ and they died. But I tell you, I feel nothing for him because after they bury him, the children will benefit from all the hidden money that he has, he has kept for them. So I can not tell you and what he loves. Oh, that poor. Yeah. I'm sorry the way I spoke like this. Yeah, I am well, sorry. I, mean, I like the Thank you. Let it out. Out, okay. There are so many people already. You already have your fans. They are already hailing you there. man. like, go on, ma. Don't stop. Don't listen to my ego. No grief for him. Thank Stay you. your mind. And you Thank have just you. Done Thank that. you. Yeah. I'm Thank not you going to do that. that. I'm not going to do that. I just pray for you that the Lord should give you strength yeah. to be coming up and helping us so that we can come and talk to our, our, our own penny to talk our own because we there's no need to do ourselves to be saying i think that you die a lot of people die today when nigeria through the road a lot of people die today some people cannot put their, their body in mortuary they are putting it in the house waiting looking for a hole to dig to put them if you don't have a plan you cannot bury anybody so i can't tell you and what you love what you bury bye bye God bless you. Uh, you have a wonderful uh, evening there. Uh, now, I mean, all of us can uh, indeed agree with her. Do you understand? I mean, if you have seen those who are the victims of uh, this, uh, you know, terrible leadership and all that, and then how it all played out, sometimes you just feel like uh, Abba, power is transient, right? Well, if you cling on to it until you die, then maybe you don't deserve any, anyone's uh, sympathy after all. Because if you didn't die, that means you would have held your state to that uh, ransom for as long as you want. Because you can. So the only thing that... Uh, hang on, I think I have another caller. Hang on. I think uh, 
There is this, uh, give me a sec. I keep kind of mixing all of them uh, together. So yes, I got it. Let's hope that that's it, right? Um, can you hear me, uh, my caller? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? Oh, I am very well, okay. sir. How are you? Okay, my name is Alex. I'm calling from America. Sir Alex, my name is Mayegun. Yes. Uh, and I'm currently I know. joining you from Scotland. How are you, sir? Okay, I'm good. Well done. I appreciate your work. Thank you, sir. May God bless you. And you too. Yeah, I specifically want to talk to the Igbo, my Igbo people, because I'm from the eastern part of the country. Oh, great. Please. Yes. And I'm seeing Igbo to progress. Mm. It is certain that they cannot move their business to Igbo land because of the seaport. Mm. The seaport in Igbo land the government refused to build it. Mm. What I'm seeing Igbo doing, I want Igbo, I, if I have the means to speak loud, I want Igbo to go into entertainment. Mm. Building five stars hotel in Igbo land. We are not united as in Nigeria. No. We are divided. All our politicians, they are, they are, they are, I don't know what I call them. Anybody that travel out of Nigeria mm. to any Western world, immediately he land in the airport. The first thing is to start abusing the politician. Honestly. Mm. I'm telling you, when you fly, any, anybody in Nigeria, that fly out of Nigeria to the Western world, any country in the Western world, he cannot believe his eyes. Mm. I remember the first day I flew into America. Mm. I will never forget the experience. Mm. I mm. entered the toilet. I ran outside the toilet, thinking, is it public toilet or office? Like have you have you have you entered the wrong toilet so that they will not start charging you? Or is this one public that or, or gas toilet? Hmm. Because of what? And I, my question is that and these politicians are coming to this country. They do. They go there all the time. Well, I just want Igbo. Igbo, I know Igbo can stand on their own. When Igbo determine to do something, they will do it right. They can. I'm not seeing it like Dubai. I've been in Dubai once, twice. What do they develop on? Hmm. What? Just the crude oil, you would say. I mean, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, tourism. The, the way they use the, their the oil wealth the, to build and make you, uh, Dubai the deepest, uh, tourist the destination. Hmm. Pool. My other way, yes, the deepest, the deepest. Um, swimming pool in the world, yes, sir. It's in Dubai, that's right. Everybody wants to go and see it, take a dive. I mm. think Igbo, we have land in Igbo land. Mm. All these rich people in Igbo in Lagos, mm. they should be moving the entertainment to Igbo land. Lagos, you can't take away the economy from Lagos, no, because it's it's like a sim, you know, specific, mm. yes, you mm. there's no how Igbo can survive. We tax Lagos because of the seaport. Mm. There's no way they can survive economically. The best thing I feel they will do is on entertainment. Mm. They should just go and start doing something first in that Africa, first anyway. in the world. They should just start thinking of it and move the entertainment industry to Igbo land. Thank you, my God husband. bless you, sir. God bless Thank you. Idea. I bet uh, a lot of them uh, are indeed uh, hearing you. Uh, I am going to take uh, one more call, and it's going to be the last call uh, for the night. So let's do it. Here, I uh, would deserve that honor, and it seems it's the right person, which is um, Osita. name? How are you? Yes, my brother. Bless you, my brother. God bless you. You, you will, you have always been the apple of the eye Thank you. of the people Thank you. that see reality and not fiction. You, 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 you succeeded in doing things that even people 
that uh, we look up to has not been able to do. Believe me, you you are gracious to behold. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sita. He's my ladies and gentlemen, is my uh you know veteran hype man. He does it so seamlessly uh all the time. Oh, Sita. You know, um God knows better. Akere Dulu has gone. That's right. We have no we have no uh, we, don't, we have no sympathy or re remorse to that. Mm. The only thing that we can say right now, he has gone to face his own judgment. That's right. You know, a journey of a thousand miles, they begin with a step and once upon a time begins a story. Mm. A day shall come end. That is one thing that people has not been able to realize. Mm. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? The soul that you are losing, that we, the people alive now, is talking about is your legacy, what you stand for. That's right. We don't hate anybody, but we only hate what people stand for. When you stand in the side of negativity, it is for sure that people will hate you. Mm. That thing, that jacket, that coat you are wearing is what people hate and not the soul that God created inside of you. So, um, it is a lesson. It is a lesson for others who think that Life is all about because I am rich. Mm. That means I have to enslave other people. Just look at a president of a country. Think about it. Mm. In America or England, the prime minister or the president of America, when he wakes up in the morning on December 25th or December 26th, he opens his window of his apartment and they see people with plates sitting across the street mm. trying to beg that means you are a failure absolute one i looked at it today mm. and i said this man is a very shameless man although they said you cannot shame the shame that's what they say you can't shame the shameless hmm. you can't shame the shameless because if you are wise enough you will have known that this Pictures, this video is going to go viral. It's going to go all it over the world. My people, people are begging for food yeah, in my house. It shows mm. my people are hungry. That's what it shows. It does. Mm. There's a difference. Like when you you should come back from UK and you you find yourself in Ijebu eh. and people are trooping in your house. Eh. It's a different thing mm. because you has no connection with the government. People want to come and facilitate with you. That's right. That is what they are coming to your place for. Mm. They want to come and enjoy. They want to see you laugh. They want to make you smile. Look at that video you showed yesterday. So, the disabled, I don't like calling people disabled, but that one, that is a special... Well, they kind of put it as uh, physically challenged. Now these days, yes. that's a word that being carefully used. So you can just say the physically yes. challenged. Mm -hmm. Challenged. You see the way the guy hugged her, embraced her. Even she was even shouting on the guy. I know. That shows that shows empathy. The guy doesn't have pity for her. It's empathy that the guy has for her. That's right. So hmm. these are so-called these are so-called vampires who occupy government spaces. They think that they can have their cake and eat it. Yes, they eat it. Hmm. The whole money that Akere do, yeah, the whole money that Akere Dolu had. The whole money he embezzled. Had this been, there is a good hospital in Nigeria. At least he's not going to carry that money to foreign land you know? to give the Germans. Hmm. All those money will still have resided in Nigeria. The man so, got rejected by German hospital. I didn't tell people the full story. Sure, you get. Like, uh, yeah. Akiridulu was looking for a particular defibrillator machine for him to be able to breathe in Nigeria. So they took him back to Germany. And the Germans were like, why do you bring him back? You should take this man home and go and let him have his last moment. Why did you bring him back? They said they are looking for another alternative. They rejected Akiridulu. 
in the same hospital they took him the last time. They were now looking for where to take him to in his last moment on top waiting. Osita. Yes. So, and this morning, we wake up this morning. Mm -hmm. What we are hearing again is, I mean, what we saw again, the criminals who, if not for government, even government connection that they have, mm -hmm. they can't make money. The one that says he owns the uh, UBA, Tony Olumelu with his party, and the white of party, mm -hmm. and the rest of them, white party, when Elite. people are facing hunger mm -hmm. and starvation, and when they come to the pages of newspaper, they come to the media, mm -hmm. and what they keep saying, that, oh, that um, the, the, the subsidy that they remove is, is, is okay. Mm -hmm. Is it the interest it is of the poor people? They would have it's, suffered it's, more it's if they didn't remove the subsidy. Nigerian. Uh -huh. Yes, the, the, the floating of the Naira mm -hmm. is for the interest of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. But you look at it, there is one um there is one poem that we we, we used to recite when I was in secondary school, I heard primary school. Mm -hmm. Dige, they call it Dige. The soap seller hawks are wears, and the hungry man was there and was looking. He was saying, How do you hug this soap and think I'm going to buy? If I cannot wash my inside, mm. how can I wash my outside? Mm. The inside is his belly. He is hungry, and now you are telling him to go and buy soap. It is absorbed, you know. So this is what we see that people are reckless the whole money that is in the circulation in the hands of the people that call themselves billionaire look at all the billionaires in nigeria none of them produces anything nothing 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 for you hmm. nothing all you hear that they bought shares in this company they bought shares in this company none of them the shares they are buying the companies that they are buying those companies are public liability company that is owned by Nigerian government, mm -hmm. by Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, Transcorp, they turned it to a private portfolio. Everything, they turned it to a private portfolio. And you think that people are not going to have, people are not going to celebrate if any of them die. Mm -hmm. People are going to celebrate. My brother, people are going to celebrate when they die. If we, if we cannot kill them by the gun or by our bare hands, at least death will take them. And when the death take them, we will be happy that death takes them. Mm. It is not a bad thing. That's the reason. There was a day I was talking to you. Believe me, it's as sometimes it's as if I should question God that, God, why did you kill Abacha self? Why did you take mm. Abacha? I mean to say, because God never kills any man. But why did you take Abacha? Mm. Believe me, because Abacha will have eradicated most of these people. Mm, Maybe like we will have to did, contest right? this one. He was indeed going after them. He was going to kill them. You're right. Those who escaped. He, he, away, was, he would have eradicated all these people. You know, and all these people so are the you people mean, that you mean if Abasha had succeeded, them. we would have had less, less of these rogues. Even though we still have the rogues we would be dealing with, but they would not be this massive. Who will come build the cat? Now? Yeah. Build the cat. So, the way you are looking at it now, that is the reason all of them, when it's not favoring them, they will ride on the back of the masses mm -hmm. and they will fight. Oh, democracy, democracy. We didn't even know that we enjoyed under a battle regime than this. I was asking somebody today, I mean yesterday, I said, how come that a battle lived for five good years with the whole sanctions that Nigeria had? One of the most beautiful things that happened in Lagos happened under a battle regime, under Buba Marwa. That's the reason in Lagos states, everybody Things that they say Marwa is a saint, is a saint, mm, is the saint. one now for the fight, uh, drug, and all of that. Hmm. But you will ask yourself <laughs> this simple question, my brother: hmm. all the economic sanctions, all the social sanctions that Nigeria had as at that time, hmm. why was Nigeria prosperous under a bunch than these criminals? So, what we are facing, we have gone past the trying to make Nigeria better. I am a very good Christian, but if you ask me, if any person asks me to pray for Nigeria, I don't pray for Nigeria. No, 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 it's a waste of time. Because it's a waste of time. Let us break this thing off. Let us break this thing off so that when it's not too late, so that we can do this thing peacefully. That is always my advice. Hmm. Osita. Thank you very much. God bless you, right? And thank you very much uh, for at least uh, trying to get that uh, across to uh, my people at the close of uh, the program. So thank you, as always, okay? You take it easy. All right, my Tomorrow day. is another day. All right, All right sir. You have a good one, sir.
So that's uh, Osita. Uh, you just uh, delivered his own uh, piece there. A lot of you want to call in and add yours still, but our time is completely out. Okay. So we are going to continue next time. And some of you can even call in some other time and say what you still want to say. All right. So thank you so much, everyone, uh, for the evening. My, uh, you know, the super chatters, the sharers, the likers, the commenters, and all of us. We've done our bit. And like I said, Akira Lulu has done his bit too. So you should continue to do yours while you have the chance. I will continue to do mine while I have the chance, right? But until then, just take it easy, stay safe, okay? I will see you some other time. So good night from here.